A busy man is seldom visited by idle friends. No flies fly to a boiling pot. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. The most important part of your life is to understand yourself from the inside. Learn how to understand yourself better by listening to these quotes by Sigmund Freud. The more perfect a person is on the outside, the more demons they have on the inside. The only person with whom you have to compare ourselves is that you in the past. And the only person better you should be, this is who you are now. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Depression is a frozen fear. The first indication of stupidity is a complete lack of shame. Before you diagnose yourself with depression or low self-esteem, first make sure that you are not, in fact, just surrounded by assholes. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. If youth knew, if age could. Thought is action in rehearsal. Friendship is an art of keeping distance, while love is an art of intimacy. Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. The best is always the enemy of the good. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. A husband is almost always only a substitute for the beloved man and not this man himself. Limitation in the possibility of enjoyment raises the value of the enjoyment. No mortal is capable of keeping a secret. If his lips are silent, his fingertips speak. The trail oozes from him through every pore. Happiness is a child's dream, fulfilled in maturity. Every normal person is really only partly normal. A woman should soften, but not weaken a man. All family life is organized around the most damaged person in it. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or the deepest despair. A father's death is the most important event the more heartbreaking and poignant loss in a man's life. People in general are insincere in sexual matters. They do not openly display their sexuality, but rather hide it by putting on a tight coat sewn from a matter called lie, as if it were bad weather in the world of sexual relations. We are never so defenseless as when we love and never so helplessly unhappy as when we lose the object of love or his love. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. At a woman's breast, love and hunger are crossed. 
We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. Envy is destructive. Don't be tempted by it. Live by your own rules. Religion is a universal compulsive neuroses. Recognizing a problem is half the success in solving it. How bold one gets when one is sure of being loved. The voice of the intellect is quiet, but it never tires of repeating, and listeners are found. Only the complete absence of sex can be considered a sexual deviation. Everything else is a matter of taste. In the small matters, trust the mind. In the large ones, trust the heart. A man is sometimes more generous when he has little money than when he has much, perhaps to keep from thinking he has none at all. The scope of one's personality is defined by the magnitude of that problem which is capable of driving a person out of his wits. We seek more to take suffering away from ourselves than to gain pleasure. Nothing costs so much in life as illness and ignoring an illness. We are so made that we can only derive intense enjoyment from a contrast and only very little from a state of things. People are more moral than they think and far more immoral than they can imagine. We do not randomly choose each other. We meet only those who already exist in our subconscious. The secret of the human soul lies in the psychic dramas of childhood. Get to the bottom of these dramas and healing will come. Masturbation is one of the primary abodes, the primary addiction. Subsequent addictions, alcohol, tobacco, morphine are only its substitutes. A joke makes it possible to satisfy a lustful or hostile instinct, despite an obstacle in its path. The first human who hurled an insult instead of a stone was the founder of civilization. The mind is like an iceberg. It floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. You do not stop looking for strength and confidence outside, but you should look inside yourself. They have always been there. The energetic and successful man is the one who succeeds in transforming the fantasies of desire into reality. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes, but to get into accord with them they are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. When people marry, they no longer live for each other as they did before. They live with each other for someone third, and dangerous rivals soon appear for the husband, the household, and the nursery. We enter the world with loneliness and lonely leave it. All adaption is partial death, the disappearance of a particle of individuality. Perfect, eternal, hate-purified love exists only between the addict and the drug. Love and work, work and love, that's all there is. 
Without love, we fall ill. All people are born bisexual and later choose their sexual orientation depending on their life circumstances. Time spent with cats is never wasted. Maturity is the ability to postpone gratification. We adults don't understand children because we don't understand our own childhood anymore. There is no need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. History is just new people making old mistakes. Who lacks sex speaks about sex. Hungry talks about food. A person who has no money, about money. And our oligarchs and bankers talk about morality. Civilized society is perpetually menaced with disintegration through this primary hostility of men towards one another. The only shame in masturbation is the shame of not doing it well. Everyone owes nature and death. A woman will never want sex with a man who doesn't get her hints. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. Avoid women who talk a lot about sex, because often they have gotten a psychological breakdown from the lack of it. Experience teaches us that the world is not a nursery. We have selected these quotes from Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis. As you can see from his quotes, Freud devoted his life to developmental and mental health research. We hope these quotes have piqued your interest and helped you get to know yourself better. Thank you for watching this video.